guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new welcome to my channel i do vlogs mommy lifestyle things um but mostly vlogs on my daily life well actually I can't really say daily because I don't do daily vlogs, but I do vlog my life. So if you guys want to see a little bit of a sneak peek of my life and my daughter and my boyfriend and anything that's going on and you just want to be nosy, you can come here and just check it out. So today I am going to be doing a mommy related video. I haven't done a sit down video in a really, really long time just because I've been trying to catch up on my old videos that i've been slacking on i did so many vacation videos that i took forever to edit took forever to upload and i'm almost done uploading all of those and then there are a few vlogs from the holidays a few vlogs from when we first moved into this place um and i am super duper sorry if the light is really yellow because this is the only place that has good lighting but the lighting is just so yellow for some reason so as you can see by the title today i am going to be talking about the sippy cups and the pacifiers that my daughter uses and the reason why i wanted to do this video is because well it's really depends on your child every child is different every child will use different pacifiers use different bottles use different um, sippy cups and there are certain ones that work for one kid that won't work for another kid so i want to talk about the ones that worked and the ones that don't work and i also want to talk a lot more about um this one which is my munchkin cup which i love so i have two of them um but let's get started with the pacifiers first because i really like watching these type of review videos and i know certain things like these you can't really watch a review and be like okay this is something that my child will like because they might not like it but this is from my experience and also to give you a little bit update of my daughter as well because she is 20 months to this date um, and she will be two in four months so i haven't really updated much on my youtube channel specifically like sitting down talking about my child so this is going to be like a little update of you know what she's been using and how long she's been using these sippy cups and when i started introducing her to um, sippy cups and things like that let's start with the pacifiers um, i actually have a little jar here that i got from the dollar store that i keep her pacifiers in and this is something that i actually like saw on the internet i saw that people would you know freeze their pacifiers and it would be good for a child when they're teething because they like the coldness of the teeth and that's what i did with this i never put water in it but i just put it in the fridge she never complained about it and i still do it to this day i would wash it and then just put it in this jar which sits in the fridge so um i introduced madeline to three different types of pacifiers okay the one that she currently uses which is tommy tippy i will show you guys some of the ones that i have in here and then some of the ones that i don't have that i did introduce her to i will put on the screen here for you guys so the first one that i introduced her to was the phillips advent one that one she didn't really like at all she did not take at all and i think i gave it to her for like a week and she still did not take it so i didn't force her to take that one and then the second one that i introduced her to was the nuke or nook and uk <laughs> so that one she didn't really like either and i don't know if it's just me but i kind of don't really like that one just because i feel like the way that the nipple is shaped it might ruin the child's teeth and the way it's angled it will make the teeth grow weird um i don't know if that's like a myth or something but that is something that i've seen on the internet once that um the shape of the nuke nipple will basically like the front of your teeth here will kind of come out a little bit um if the child uses that pacifier so i was kind of scared to use that one even though we did get a couple of those as a gift i don't know if i want to keep those because i still have them um and i don't know if i want to introduce that to my second kid i might end up just using like the pacifiers that we use now for madeline or try a different shape because i really 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 don't like that shape but also for that one it's like flat and then it has like a curve so it's like curved and then the bottom is like flat and i don't know if that's true or not if your child uses nuke and their teeth are perfectly fine they're normal they grow fine then i think it'll be okay um, but personally i just was too scared to use it because i didn't want madeline's teeth to be all messed up 
and I know a lot of kids use the Philips Advent one um, there's two different types of Philips Advent one the one that's kind of like straight out which I'll show you guys here and then there's like a, another one the second style is kind of similar to the one that Madeline uses now this one is the Tommy Tippy one this is her absolute favorite the only one that she will take I continuously use this one and this one is this so this is what it looks like here can you guys see that there we go so it's like straight up it's like a straight up nipple basically and then these ones come in two different like backing styles like this so they come in these cute little styles and they actually come in different sizes too um the reason why i actually got introduced to this is because my mom she bought tommy tippy bottle and the tommy tippy bottles that she used it was a set and it actually came with newborn pacifiers and those ones were the very first ones that i gave to madeline and those ones were either newborn or zero to three months so they have different sizes the one that she's currently using is 6 to 18 months and then the next size up is 18 to 36 months i believe but i don't know if i want to introduce her to the next size up yet just because the size is the only difference so like the backing is the same same shape you know same size i believe the newborn ones are obviously a little bit smaller so it can fit the kid's face but the nipple itself it's a lot bigger so we have a whole bunch of different ones here i'll just show you quickly the styles that we have we have this cute little one here and then we have this cute little one there and then we also have this one this is a new one that we actually got it says RAR and then I think that's it. I have an extra one in her bag and she has one over there. She's actually sitting very quietly right now. That's why I am filming this video. She's sitting over there on her high chair. She just finished eating bananas. I was feeding her fried rice and then she threw it all over the floor. So I cleaned that and then I started filming this video but right now she's watching Minions and if you've been watching me on Instagram or anything, you know that Madeline is super obsessed with Toy Story. Um, at this point, she's very obsessed with Toy Story. She loves Toy Story. She will watch Toy Story over and over and over again. Right now, she's actually watching Minions, which is a movie that she's actually pretty into because there's a lot of movies that I show her that she kind of just doesn't care for. I do try to replace them often. Oh my god, one just fell. Hold on. So I do try to replace them often. I try to replace them at least every three to four months. She uses them every day. And also, if you are watching this right now, I hope I post it early. If I don't, there is a lot of viruses going around. Madeline has been sick on and off for the past three months. Right now, she's off sick. And I want to keep her off sick for a very long time. I do not want her to get sick right now. Um, also, there's so many viruses going around i really want to make sure that i keep her mouth sanitized because i do not want her to get any kind of viruses or you know things like that and be sick tommy tippy are the ones that i really like using and if you are trying to test the waters and to see let's say if you have a newborn and you're trying to see which pacifiers to use this hasn't ruined her like shape of her teeth or anything and she really enjoys these and these are very very nice because a lot of the shapes, especially the Nuke one, they only go one way. So if a child is trying to put the pacifier in their mouth and they can't because it's super uncomfortable because it's upside down, this one is actually shaped the same way upside down or downside up. So even if she uses this upside down, it will still be okay. Let's move on to the sippy cups that she does not like. So this is the one that I try to get her um, to use. This is the Playtex sippy bottle with a straw so i tried to get her to use this a few times the reason why she doesn't like this is because she can't get her drink fast enough it's very easy to clean it's literally this cup here it has a straw and then it also has like this rubber part here where you can um close this put the straw in or you can actually take this part out and i think the kid can just drink through like this um and then when you open it up like this you can um suck out the drink that's inside and it also has a lid where you can cover it so i really think that she doesn't like this because it takes too long to get the drink out and i've tried a few times to get her to use it but she would just knock it away and really really not care about it so i'm going to keep this actually until she gets a little bit older probably like 
two two and a half to three because this is something that i can actually use on the go and then when she gets older she will actually be more aware and she can actually suck the straw a little bit harder and it'll be easier for her to get so maybe she's still young and it's too hard for her to um get the suction right so she's still learning i am still going to introduce it to her i don't want to waste it i bought two of these just to try out because also she's been um learning how to use a straw and she's been really good at using a straw so i really wanted to introduce her to like a bigger sippy cup um, but not like a sippy cup, you know? And then the next one we actually have, it hasn't been opened yet, but there is one that I've opened so far. This is also the Playtex one. This is the Playtex Sipsters, and I haven't opened this one yet, but basically this, typically this, typically this. So basically this is just a regular sippy cup as well. Um, very easy to clean here, I'll show you guys. So there's the cup this is what is this my little pony and then the sipper is like this this is also by playtex and there's also like a rubber piece right here that you can wash i tried to get madeline to use this when she was maybe a year over a year old and she just did not like it at all even for this i think maybe because she just doesn't know how to use it that's why um, it's a little bit hard for her to use oh and also this says stage three it says 12 months plus but I guess it's a little bit older because right now she's 20 months and she still hasn't gotten the hang of this one. But I also like it because it has the cute little um, prints on it. There's a whole bunch of them. So yeah. And it also says that it's leak proof and it keeps drinks cool longer. I can also use these for the daycare because currently she's using this sippy cup for the daycare. And this is not one sippy cup. This is more than one. So I'll show you these. So this one... This is what it looks like, and then this is what the lid looks like. You just snap it on, okay? And then it comes with this one little rubber piece that covers the sippy hole so it doesn't leak. So that's what it looks like here. It comes in all sorts of lid colors, all sorts of like bottle covers, or sorry, bottle colors. And then I also got this one which has hearts on it. This is a new print that I just saw, and those ones came with the purple lid here so there's two different sizes this size here which is what she's currently using and then this size here i have one of these we actually got it gifted from my boyfriend's uncle and he gave us a pack which is how i got introduced to this so the brand is take and toss and technically it's not take and toss because it's reusable so you take it you wash it and then you can use it again these are very very easy to clean and the one that she's currently using at daycare is actually this one because I wanted to make sure that it was something that didn't have too many pieces, that was easy for her to use, that was easy to clean because I really, really don't want to have her using one that had like mold because the daycare teacher didn't know how to clean it. I'm actually going to bring a new one for her for school to um, replace the old one because that one has been there for a really long time. But these ones are super easy to clean. It literally comes in only three pieces. I don't don't normally use this rubber piece you can just take it off and use it on any of the other ones I just use these two pieces so literally these are just so easy to throw in your bag especially when you're on the go easy to wash too so you can just rinse it out anywhere and everywhere and also the only thing that I kind of don't like about this is that the holes are too small so there's like these three holes that are right here where the sippy part is and when my daughter is drinking smoothies it's very hard for her to drink smoothies because a lot of the chunky parts they get stuck right here so then it blocks out all the liquid so what I do is I would get a knife and I would just make the holes a little bit bigger only for the smoothies and I literally only use these for like water and also for um like sweet drinks like i'll give her juice or smoothies um things like that that i do not want to get stuck in the other sippy cups like for example this one i definitely do not want the um, smoothies or juices to get stuck in this munchkin one just because these have so much more crevices and they get moldy so much faster so i really just use these ones for water so i also have one of these at my mom's house so one of these at um tyrome my boyfriend's mom's house i have a whole bunch to um give her and to replace if i need to and also these are very cheap as well and these go in the fridge all of our sippy cups go in the fridge except for the ones that she doesn't use they go in the cupboard and 
And now moving on to the munchkin ones, which is the ones that I love, that I really, really am glad that I got because it also taught Madeline how to use a regular cup. Yes, she does spill on herself because she pours it over too much, but these are very helpful if she's not using like a regular cup. And this also taught her how to use a regular like water bottle that we have, you know, the ones that you buy from the grocery store. She knows how to use that too. And it's all because of this. So I have two of them. I have the big size and then have the small size with the handles. I first gave her this one. Yes, mama. Madeline is like being super fussy right now. But at first I introduced her to this one. I bought her the pink one. Um, and then it was finally time to replace it because there were a few times where a little bit of mold grew in, but I did wash it away. And then right now there's no mold in that one, but it's time to throw away because I really don't want all that bacteria. So this one's unopened, but I bought her the purple one. How cute is that? Um, and then this is also a brand new one, which she hasn't had for that long. I think it's only been like two months that she's had this. These are come in very small pieces as well. So it just comes with the cup here. And then it also comes with the rubber part that you can take off. And then there's also a rubber part around the ring over here, which I'm trying to get out, which I can't. Right, right there. So this rubber part, um, so literally only four pieces. This snaps on top and then this goes like that. So I bought these two. I really love these and it's just really, really good. And I know there's so many sippy cups. And I think this video is a really long video. But anyways, um, I'm actually going to end this video here. I highly recommend these munchkin cups if, if you want to teach your child how to use like a regular cup faster. And I also recommend these ones just because these are so easy to clean and so cheap and affordable. So yeah, those are the sippy cups that my daughter is currently using. I am actually going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I am going to try to give more updates about Madeline often. This is just a little snippet of what is going on with her food wise and utensil wise. But there's so much more that's been going on that I haven't updated through video, but if you do want to see those, you can follow us on hv.fam. That's our Instagram page that I put a monthly updates for Madeline on there. If you want to go follow that, you can also follow my Instagram um, and you will get updates there as well. Um, but I'm going to try my best to update on here and try to give you a lot more information in video form. But now I'm going to stop talking. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.